Well, my efforts to grow watercress can be considered 100% successful. I mean, it's just a matter of getting an aquarium pump and an air stone to make the bubbles and some uh, alkaline water like uh, flat, flat, uh, not mineral water, what's it called? Spring water, yes. Flat spring water. I can't see why now I can't do it on a larger scale. If I consider that it costs money to buy spring water and that it costs money to run the pump, I suppose it costs a little bit of money to run the pump, I may as well get a bathtub, mayn't I? I, I can get an old bathtub fill it with water, add a little agricultural lime to make the water alkaline and uh, put in an, an aquarium pump, the same pump would be enough to uh, aerate a bathtub, wouldn't it? I can grow a larger amount. These are all long now. We're getting long and tall. So I'll be able to harvest them soon. I think I'll give them a little bit of fertiliser maybe to make the leaves a bit lusher. Just a tiny bit. I'll add a little bit of fertilizer to the water today. Maybe a little bit of seaweed fertilizer. And uh, yes, I'll be harvesting watercress soon. There's a bathtub, I think. A bathtub, some water, a bit of lime, an aquarium pump and an air stone, and plant the watercress in a bathtub. A whole lot of them. It should be very successful. There's our air stone making lots of bubbles. Lovely watercress. Definitely growing now, growing up and over the sides of the tub. Growing very well. Must plant some more, a larger amount. More vitamin C than oranges, more calcium than milk, and more iron than spinach. That should be very good for me, shouldn't it? Lovely.